What's up everybody, today we're going to buy some magic from Wish. For today's video I decided to go on Wish and spend £50 to get some magic tricks. What we're going to do is just have a quick look at the tricks, see what we're going to get, and then in a month's time or whenever they arrive, we're going to finish off the rest of this video and we're going to put the magic tricks to use. And with doing this we're going to see how good they are and how well they perform. So I'm just going to set the phone away recording and place it on the screen here and we're going to have a look through and see what's what. What I've done, I've already placed all of these orders, so the ones in the basket, there's some of them which are slightly different because the original listings can't be found for some reason, so we're just going to go through and have a look at them. First thing that I ordered was a magic staff. The one that I went for was the 150 centimeter one and I've had one of these in the past and it was really badly made and it was just made of plastic and once it opened it broke and that was it. So I'm hoping the 150 centimeter one will be slightly better because it seems like it's better quality. So as you can see here on the, the screen it's a, an extendable pole. So in the bottom you have the little cap here and when you release that cap and let go the cane shoots out and it magically appears out of nowhere. So looking forward to using that and using it on some tricks and things. Up next is the classic key in the bottle. So this is a key which folds in so you can put it in a bottle and perform magic tricks like that. As you can see there, the, the key folds in half and it's got a little latch on it. So when you put it in the bottle, you can fold it in half, it goes in, once it's in the bottle it comes to open up and everyone thinks that the key is just put in like that. Both sides do it so you can easily fit it in the bottle and it also comes with the rubber bands which is for the mechanics of the key itself as well. The next thing I've got is the card wallet and what you can do in here is you can make a card disappear or you can make a card change. So what you can do you put your card in you can either change the card or you can make it disappear so looking forward to doing that especially with some sort of you can force a card and make that other card appear or something like that. I've seen one where someone ripped the corner off a card and put that card in the wallet and once the, the did the magic trick the card solved again so as you can see here with the lines across on the the playing card the eight of hearts has the lines and it also has that on the case so when you move the card it goes in line with the case and that's how it creates the illusion the next one is the magic magnetic rings I've had one of these before and I had a black one which you may have seen on some of the previous videos the ring that I had previously wasn't of good quality all the black started to come off and it went to silver so it's just your, your magnet which was fine then however the magnet started rusting so I'm not going to get another one of these to replace it because it was really good gimmick that you can always have on you so if you want some ring tricks you can do ring tricks or if you want to do some magnetic stuff you've got that with you as well the listing that I got I actually got three rings whereas this one here only appears to be one but it's um it's got some string attached so you can do like a floating ring and all that sort of thing the one I went for is the silver ring with the, the black inside. So yeah, this list is slightly cheaper. That's why the total amount of which doesn't come to £50. However, the other list is slightly dearer because I got the three rings, which is better value for money, I think, because it was only £5, I think, whereas this is £1.80 just for one. The next one I got was a Rubik's Cube. Again, this is a slightly different list to the one that I purchased because the one I got had more brighter colours and it's more like a speed cube than the normal Rubik's Cube. I've got a Rubik's Cube in the house and it's great for tricks. I, need, I really need to do more with it because I've been learning some tricks with it and it's just sort of practicing, practicing, practicing and getting better at that. So obviously the, the new one that I've ordered is meant to be a speed cube so hopefully it should be a bit smoother and a bit easier to use and progress it along with the magic. Now as you can see here with the, the blue, red and the white, this is more like the cube that I purchased. So the, the colours on it are slightly smaller and have rounded edges rather than the black one like this it's a white cube so looking forward to getting that the next one on the list is the magic coin disappearer so what this is essentially is a hook which you clip onto your clothing so on your jeans or something like that it's got a wire which is retractable and a magnet on the end if you have a coin in your hand you can attach the magnet to that coin and when you let go of it it'll shoot back and go to the retractor so you can have that coin disappear and once that disappears you're completely clean you've got no coin in your hands the coin has disappeared because it's gone to the retractor. As you can see on the image, the actual thing which you clip on your clothes is three centimeters long and it's 54 centimeters for the actual retractable bit. So it's quite a lot of length, so you've got some decent to play with. Looking forward to that to do some coin vanishes and other things which are magnetic. Next one up is a bit more adult. I love comedy magic and sort of rude magic and humorous things like that. One of the tricks that I like to perform is from a video that I saw Wes Barker do. And basically you have a blank card, on it you write fuck you, and you force that card. So you say, spectator, pick a card, this is your card, 
fuck you. I think the concept of it is just fantastic and sort of, with my sense of humour and sort of adult jokes, then that just nails it with me. So I had to get this. I've been doing some practicing with some sponge balls, so I'm hoping that I can put it into a routine and also get use of this sponge ball as well. So it's something like um, you hide these, they appear in the hands, switch them over, and then you go from the actual sponge balls itself to the, the sponge penis and have that appear. Next one up is a classic magic trick. So it's the rope, which is bendy. So you're shaking about, it's bendy, and then all of a sudden you do it and it extends and stays out. Then whenever you want it to change again, you just do it and it ends up like that and it's back to the start again. Looking forward to performing this for the kids, especially to try and bamboozle the head of how to figure out of this rope is just like a normal rope, it's flopping around, then all of a sudden it just goes dead straight and you can't move it. So look forward to that. Next one which I've seen done quite a lot of times on Instagram and things is the voodoo dolls. The basic theory behind the trick is you have a voodoo doll on your hand, then at any notice the voodoo doll just starts to lift up by itself. There's no strings, nothing attached to it. What you can do is you can move your hand all the way around and you can show that there's no strings holding it up, nothing underneath, and it's just a really good spectacle event. So yeah. And as you can see on the picture here, you get two of them. So one is non-gimmicked and the other one is gimmicked. And if you look closely, you'll be able to see what the actual gimmick is for it. Up next is the Lobo's lens or Lubo's lens. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. This is like a card which is invisible. So what it does, it takes on the vertical and horizontal line. And when anything is vertical, it makes it disappear. Anything horizontal, it still shows it up. So as you can see here, when it's got a pen in front of it, you can... Um, you can twist the pen or do whatever, but basically when the pen is vertical across the card like that, then it disappears, but your fingers still stay there because they're horizontal. So I think it's just a, a really, really good gimmick. Looking forward to trying that out. And last but not least is the card bite out. If you follow us on Instagram and TikTok, then you know I love visual tricks. So something like this is just fantastic. So you take the card, take a bite out of it. You can see there's a bite like that reappears again. Just classic thing. So obviously David Blaine used to do it with a coin, he used to take the coin, bite it, flick it, comes back up. And now this has just evolved onto a card. And then as you can see here, this is the sort of the mechanics behind it. So you got your two cards, it flips down when you bite it and then it flips back up. Really simple but really effective. That's the magic items from Wish. Like I said, I've already ordered the items so just waiting for them to arrive. When they do arrive, I'll finish off the video. But for you, just like magic, they're gonna appear now. So here we are, several months later, got all the stuff from Wish. One big bag, and we're gonna look through and see what they are. Up first is a magic staff. I had a little bit play with it earlier, and it was quite difficult to get back together, but we'll give it a go and see how it is. So this is it, as you can see here. It's a magic cane. That's the end of it. On the other side is this little pull pin. So you pull this out, and then that's how you open it up. So you basically hold it in your hand, put your thumb over this bit, then you can pull this out, you can see there that's now loose and all you have to do is when you let go with your thumb that'll shoot up in a cane once you've got it you can be like a showman at the circus just like that there's a magic cane so there's the end of the cane and it goes out quite long and then obviously when you want to put it back together you're sort of supposed to twist it like this and push it in first time i did it it was a bit hard to get it done i think there must be an act of it of how you actually do it because it gets so far down like this There we go, pull the pin cord back again, pull that through, push it in, and that's how you secure it back up again with the pin cord, so it doesn't come out. Do you ever feel sometimes that you just need a bit of a stick so you can hit someone or do something? Well, now you can. So that's the magic staff, seems quite decent. Gonna do a couple more videos with it later on, on a wide angle and that sort of thing, just so we can see it in the full effect. Up next is the magic folding key in a bottle. So with this one, you get two keys. One's a proper key and the other one is the gimmick key. So all you have to do is if you've got a hole like this, normally you use a bottle. As you can see here, the key won't go in. Push it through and then it goes through. Today we're gonna to do a magic trick with a bottle and a key. As you can see here, it's just a normal water bottle. There's nothing in it. And I've got to put the key in. The key doesn't fit in. However, if you just take the bottle and give it a slight push, the key goes inside. So that's just an example of how you can use the key. There's many more different things you can do with it. It's quite a good gimmick and it feels quite sturdy. It comes with a spare rubber band so if one of them does break then you can replace it. Up next is this disappearing card change. 
it's quite a good gimmick so you can either force this card and then make it disappear or you can do a whole range of different things like you can put there's actually space in the back so you can put a playing card in there and do that sort of thing and then all you have to do is when you hold it to the spectator you can just go like that and the card disappears really simple trick really visual really effective here's a bit of a scientific fact for you did you know that if you take a playing card and you give it a shake from left to right the card just disappears. Here's a magic trick for you. What you can do is if you can take a little bit of plastic like this, think of a playing card like I'm thinking of Six of Hearts, you give it a quick shake and just like that the card appears. So that was a disappearing card trick and you can also disappear it and make it appear. The next thing was the magnetic ring which you can do loads of tricks with but unfortunately it didn't arrive so I'll have to skip over that one. Next thing was the Rubik's Speed Cube and this is slightly smaller than what I thought it would be but uh, it comes in a nice little packet comes with instructions so you know how to solve it and you can see here it's quite uh, it's quite loose because it's a nice speed cube so it's built for to do it fast so I'm looking forward to messing around with the Rubik's Cube and seeing what I can come up with because I've done a, a couple of magic tricks with it where I just solved it within a couple of seconds and different things like that so I'll definitely be wanting to play with this more and seeing what I can get. Next is the retractable disappearance device, which you use for disappearing coins. It's just a little clip-on device with a bit of string attached to it, and there's also a magnet on the end so you can stick different things. As you can see here, there's a two-pence piece stuck on it, so you use that for different tricks. I'm forever losing money. Like, this two-pence piece, like, all I have to do is that one minute I have it in my hand, and then the next minute it disappears, and I don't know where it goes. So yeah, that's the uh, disappearing coin device, and it's quite good. You can use it with anything that's magnetic. And you can also get different things where you can actually tie things on to other things so you can make those disappear too. This is the next magic trick and I love funny comedy magic so I decided to get one of these. So it comes with the main sponge bit and also four smaller sponge balls. So you can take these sponge balls and you can do a trick so you can say if I take these two in your hand while the other way you're confiscating that when you open your hand it pops out. Just gonna do a magic trick with some sponge balls. I can see I've got two balls here if I put them in my hand like that and I go like that, disappears into this hand and turns into a penis. When you do it with people, it's so much better. All you have to do is palm off the penis, put that on their hand when you say it's the sponge balls, take the sponge balls away, and when they open their hand, they have a penis in their hand. What more magic could you ask for? Another classic is the stiff rope trick. So I'm sure when you were a kid, you saw this, you have a magician with a normal bit of rope like that. It doesn't really do anything. And then all of a sudden, if the magician does this, Sticks out like that, click the fingers, and it goes limp again. Great performing this for the kids, they loved it, they were trying to figure out how to do it, and obviously let Nathaniel in on the little secret because he's a little budding magician. Had fun trying it. We've been doing a bit ghost hunting lately, and I found this rope in one of the places that we've been, and I think it's a bit haunted. Because what happens is, when I take the rope, and I extend it out, it seems to just stay where it is, like that. But then as soon as I click my fingers, it just falls down. Sure, it's definitely haunted. Up next is the voodoo doll, and I've seen this trick done a couple of times, and I really, really like the, the idea behind it. So in the package, you actually get two. One is the non-gimmicked, and this is the gimmick. And when you look at them, just a normal person, you wouldn't really be able to see the actual gimmick for it, but however, they have put this non-gimmicked one in, so you can actually give that out for inspection. We've been doing some ghost hunting, and I found these two voodoo dolls. And this one is just normal, but I think this one is haunted. Because what I can do, if I can think in my mind that I want the voodoo doll to rise up, and when I think about it, it actually happens. So it stays there, and as you can see, there's nothing holding it up, nothing like that. I just think about it sitting up, and it sits up, and then all of a sudden I can say, sit down, and it just falls back down again. How mental is that? Like, just thinking, like, sit up, and it sits up on its own? How scary is that? I'm sure this is possessed. Up next is an invisibility card. And the way this works is it depends on whether the object is horizontal or vertical. Because the way the card is, when it's one way, it'll show what's there. And when it's the other way, it won't. So as you can see here, it's shown near the device, which is the ruler. And if I turn it the other way, it seems to have disappeared. This works really well when you have something which is horizontal and vertical. So normally it's holding a pen, but I've just got this ruler. As you can see here, my fingers are horizontal and this is vertical. So if I hold this in front, you can't see the ruler, but you can see my fingers. Obviously, turn it sideways, you can't see my fingers, but you can see the ruler. Another thing we found ghost hunt was this bit of plastic. And I picked it up first thing that was rubbish, but then it's actually haunted. 
So if I take something like this, like this ruler, if I hold it in front, you can see my fingers, but then the ruler disappears. How spooky is that? Look, the ruler disappears with the card and you can still see my fingers. But no matter what, the ruler disappears. This is so haunted. Last but not least, it's the bite out card. And inspired by David Blaine with the coin and all those other tricks like that. So there's actually this bite out card, which is like that. So the lockdown, it's been a bit of a struggle to get food. What I've had to do is resort to eating playing cards. And replaced a bit of paper and plastic. <coughs> Not very nice. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the wish haul. And we're looking forward to using some of these props in future magic tricks. Some of them are a bit rubbish and can't be used. And others, they'd be quite good, I think. Just trying to think out the box and do different tricks which I've never seen before. Or an adaptation of something which is really good. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, give it a subscribe, give it a like. Drop a comment below which is your favourite trick. And until next time. See ya.